So this uh, time we're listening to a sweet old lady from Newtown. She's called up triple zero. She was having a problem in the kitchen. She was concerned that the eggs she used in her cookies had gone off and she didn't know who else to call except for triple zero. Oh, what a sweetheart, but what a waste of great resources. <laughs> Let's have a listen to the call. Ambulance emergency, what town or suburb, please? Um, it's Newtown. Newtown? Two hours for two. Okay, and what's the exact address? Well, while I'm a bit concerned, look, I made some biscuits. But somehow they got an awkward smell. Those, I, it's, I used a lot of eggs. Now they've been trouble with the eggs. What, what, how would you know if there was any trouble with the eggs? Pardon? Please, do you need an ambulance? No, no, no. See, I want to know if, I, if I'm going to get food poisoned or okay, not. Okay, well you've, you've yeah. called triple zero for an emergency ambulance. Do you need an emergency ambulance? No, no, no. No, okay, so why do you call triple zero? Well, well because you a fan. You might be able to help me. What I, do I know if they are? I can't I, help you in regards to if your eggs are off in your cookies. I'm not, no, it's not bad. I don't know about, you know how they said about this, a lot of eggs that's off? Who okay. do I call? I'm, so I'm not sure who you would call. I think I might throw them away. Okay, alright, so just confirming you don't need an ambulance though. No, definitely not. Okay, alright. It's well, very hard to know who to call when it's on a weekend. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure who you could call. Yeah, okay. But just Thank confirming, you. you don't need an ambulance. Hundred percent. Okay. No. That's fine. Well, I won't organise one. But if anything changes, call us back. Okay. I know. You're very good. Okay. All right. I'll Thank let you, you go. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Oh, oh, the poor lady. We have the phone uh, operator on now, Gabby. The least she could have done is just <laughs> asked her once, does she need the ambulance? Not thirty times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess know, it's I your know. job, hey, Gabby. But, but I suppose you've got to figure out, like, that, is she is she injured? Because you you don't know. You're just getting the call cold, right? Yeah, we we don't really understand what's going on in the background. We don't know if there might be someone in her house or something yeah. else going on. So you, you, you got, there's going a on. lot of pressure on the operators, I think. To actually, you're right. When Gabby's saying. She's got to keep checking, making sure, because they don't know what's going on there. The woman said something about eggs and biscuits and everything, but you don't know if someone's got a gun to her head, whether she's having a stroke, whether, you know, you you have to keep, you have mm. to sort of figure it out in your own mind. That's very difficult. Yeah, it's hard. Um, she, she may have been completely confused, had no idea what was going on. She did need an ambulance, but. I just was trying to clarify with her what was actually going on. But, I felt um, really disappointed yeah, they, when I realised she had to throw the biscuits out, though. Don't you feel? <laughs> I felt bad. I know. I'm sure she probably would have made some more. Isn't that, um, what but, a sweetheart, though. Get, She's obviously yeah. very old, that lady. Do you get calls like that often where they obviously don't need to be calling triple zero for that specific situation? To be honest, they don't happen as often as I would think they would happen. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like, we just get the, the calls... As they come in, so you don't know whether it's going to be someone in cardiac arrest or yeah. something like this. Um, but I'm probably once at least every shift you hear of someone in the room who's had a call like this. Or oh, so that um, is quite often then. Like just, uh, I would have thought maybe every couple of weeks, but every shift there's something weird like that. Yeah, not usually for each person, but you'd hear about it in the room about someone who's had a call. <laughs> Um, to do with something that's not an emergency. So, yeah. When, when you guys are on your lunch break, do you all talk about the calls you've been taking? Uh, we do discuss some calls, um, trying to just talk them out if we need to. Um, we don't talk about every call. Obviously, we do take a lot during a shift. So, if you talked about every call, you'd be there Too all much. day. Yeah, and, um, and have you since Googled how do you know whether your eggs are bad in the bis- have you Have you familiarised yourself in case that sort of call comes through again or No. I haven't, to be honest, um, but I'm sure I'm sure that it probably won't happen again to me, at least. I think you um, handled it brilliantly. I think uh, you know it's a tough gig. That thanks, Gabby. Thanks, thanks for honey. Talking. All right, appreciate thanks, it. Bye. All right, Bye. Dom, no worries.